kind of foods are typically water bath canned and why does it matter? So foods that are high acid foods are what normally are water bath canned. If you talk about pressure canning, that is low acid foods. So what does this all mean? The reason pH and acidity is important when canning is because it'll determine which kind of canning method you will do. So referring to the pH scale, you have a number one to 14. What we talk about high or low is a pH of 4.6 is our middle ground, okay? If you go this way, that is high acid. If you go down, this is low. Things you water bath can are the ones that are high on that scale. So you've got jams, jellies, pickles, um, relishes, chutneys, different things like that. And things on the lower scale are where you get into certain vegetables, meat, poultry, that sort of thing. So why is this important? If you are trying to mix something that's low with high, how do you know where you land on this scale? And why it matters is to safely can and make sure you don't have any of those microorganisms and all that bacteria in there to safely can, you have to follow a tested and approved recipe because the tested and approved recipe that has been developed knows exactly how high the acid content is in that recipe to safely can. If you're kind of like, you know what, I'm just gonna throw in a low acid food here with this high acid food. Well, what if it's like we're in a non-safe level and then you don't know if you could get sick. So I really think it just helps to keep in mind what does the recipe say? I'm water bath canning. What things fall under that category? Follow the recipe exactly because then you know. This is a tomato. <clears throat> It's right on the 4.6. So this is why it's important to follow a specific recipe because it'll tell you what amount of acid you need to add to that recipe to safely can it. Don't make up your own thing. Don't add whatever you think it is. Just follow the recipe. So keep that in mind and I'll go into more detail on the specific like fruits and vegetables and things, but this at least gives you an idea of high acid, low acid, and why that matters.